this uh, uh, service was prepared by uh, uh, Heather and uh, uh, Liz and uh, myself with some other input from our worship uh, committee. So uh, hopefully everything goes, uh, goes well. Um, it will be what it will be. Um, so as we gather, um, in terms of the announcements, uh, just a couple I was going to highlight. Um, so next Sunday, uh, oh, sorry, uh, around any, any time, Heather would be prepared to accept your uh, um, committee and council chairperson's uh, reports that, so that she can work on them for the next, in the next week during her administrative leave. And then next Sunday, um, we will be back in person uh, the seventh, with uh, Lisa leading us at the usual uh, the usual times, uh, and on Zoom, and uh, uh, then I think uh, that's it until the next week. Thursday, the eleventh is ladies tea and tea and talk from ten till twelve. Uh, Rockwood and Lisa the what is it? The spiritual Saturday must be on. It'll It'll be the January last January 13th. My brain was a little foggy on Wednesday. On the 30th of January. Is that uh, Thir- that's 13th? 13th. Yeah. We're trying the second uh, Sunday of the month so that it doesn't uh, bump up against the Rockwood breakfast. So oh, sure. he said everyone will come out to the spiritual Saturday. All right. So speaking of which, then that means that hopefully there's a breakfast the last Saturday in uh, September or in, I'm looking at <laughs> in, in January as well. So, uh, okay. So any other announcements that anybody wanted to mention? Um, choir will start again on January the 4th. The 4th uh, this week. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we've heard that it's, um, uh, em, em, no, just a minute. Amanda. Whose birthday is it? Amanda. Amanda. Yes, Amanda. yes. I, I know it's Amanda, but I wrote Emma, sorry. So it's Amanda's <laughs> birthday today. Um, are we allowed to ask what year it is, Amanda? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 21. All right. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I'm the big one. <clears throat> Uh, anybody else uh, with us uh, that uh, has a birthday they want to mention? <laughs> All right, then we should uh, we should sing for Amanda. Liz, can you start us off? Sure. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. That's that'll be the the most most unique uh, happy birthday you'll get today, Amanda. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That was lovely. Um, okay, and any good news that uh, people would would like to share? We just had uh, my five-year-old nephew for a sleepover last night, and that's always super fun to have a little one in the house again now that everybody here is getting so old. Um, so <laughs> it was a busy evening, but she always comes with an agenda of everything he wants to accomplish while he's here, and we managed to knock most of it off the list, so that was good. All right. <laughs> We had a, a sleepover with our grandchildren last night uh, as uh, as well, and everything went uh, um, went well too. Yeah. Um, okay, then I think we're ready for um, gathering music.
our, our call to worship for the first Sunday in Christmas and the manger is from Angels We Have Heard on High, verse 4. For our candle lighting, I'll read the uh, uh, light type and we'd ask you to join in the bold. On this first Sunday of Christmas, the manger invites us to offer praise with the angels. We sing of a Jesus lovingly laid in the manger for us. Long before Jesus' birth, John tells us that the word was with God and the word was God and all life came into being through him. On that, On that holy night in Bethlehem, God uh, sent Jesus the word of life for us. Yes. In a time when many people live without faith, we give thanks for Jesus presence in our lives. As angels sang of the babe in the manger, we are invited to share the good news that God's word of love is for all people. May it be so. A child, a sign that God loves the most vulnerable. Joseph and Mary dedicating Jesus in the temple. A sign that God is with them from the beginning. Simeon, Simeon aware of the huge significance of the child. A sign that God is going to work for good through Jesus. Parents, Parents amazed. amazed at what will unfold as the child grows. A sign that God goes with us in all the stages of life. Anna praising God in joy and sorrow, in good times and difficult times. Like Mary and Joseph, we are confident God will be there. Thanks be to God. Let us worship. Him. Number 43, go tell it on the mountain.
We join uh, for the prayer of confession. Another year has come and gone, Lord Jesus, and the world is still far from the image of your kingdom. We acknowledge that the work of this transformation is your work, but we know we have a role to play. We recognize the barriers of sin placed on this transformation, sin in the world and sin in our hearts. In this holy season, may we, with quiet humility, reflect upon our own thoughts, words, and actions. We pray in the name of the one whose birth we celebrate this day. May we prepare his room in our lives. Amen. Receive these words of scripture. This spirit, God, poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by God's grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Receive the grace of Christ's forgiveness and love. Amanda and I will be reading your gospel lesson today. Um, when the time came for their purification, according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and rising of many in Israel and is to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher, she was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment, she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Now we will sing the song of singing. Lord, God, you now Thank you. 
Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew, just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're darked. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right, or right in three quarters, or maybe not quite, or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find, for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race, down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace, and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space, headed, I fear, toward a most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or a no or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting, waiting for the fish to bite or waiting for wind to fly a kite or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape. All that waiting and staying, you'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too, games you can't win because you'll play against you. All alone. Whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance. You'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go through the hack and cracks howl, onward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. 
on and on you will hike. And I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai, Alley, Van Allen, O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So, get on your way. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But by all means, keep moving. And that's a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. In all the places you'll go, Dr. Zeus states, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. The journey can take anyone from amazing heights to places and situations that are not fun. Journeys take us from the old to the new. And here we are leaving 23 behind and looking forward to 2024. Mary, a young girl, and Joseph, a carpenter, are taking them on a journey chosen for them. Mary accepted the call to birth Jesus. Joseph accepted the call to marry Mary. Together, they made the journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem in order to register for the census. While there, Jesus was born. If a son was born, the woman was considered unclean for 40 days. If a daughter was birthed, the mom was considered unclean for 80 days. She could still do household chores, just not go into places of worship. Also, the law of redemption stated that all firstborn males, be they human or cattle, were sacrificed to God and had to be designated as holy to the Lord. Now here's the next part of the journey. Mary and Joseph, along with a group of pilgrims, all walked or rode donkeys the 70 miles to Jerusalem. The purpose? Completing Mary's purification and the presentation of Jesus at the temple. The completion of Mary's purification when Jesus was 40 days old required the sacrifice of a lamb for purification and a pigeon for a sin offering. However, many families did not have the means to purchase a lamb, so a pigeon could be offered instead. Mary and Joseph were able to offer a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. This was known as the offering of the poor. Let's meet Simeon and Anna. A right Simeon, a righteous and devout man, has been waiting a long time for the redemption of Israel. He knew he would not face death until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Anna, a prophetess, worships night and day. She also recognizes Jesus as the Messiah and tells everyone about this child. Simeon blessed them. But what exactly is a blessing? The Dalai Lama says, a blessing must arise from within your own mind. It is not something that comes from the outside. While a blessing could be before a meal, a message and a greeting card, wishing members a safe journey or the benediction at the end of a worship service. Perhaps Simeon's words of blessing could have been similar to the words of blessing found in number six chapters, or sorry, verses 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Bob Hostetler shared this story about his friend's son and daughter-in-law's new tradition. They hung this blessing above their newborn's bed. 
Every night they shared this blessing as the child was tucked in. It goes like this. May you always have happiness to keep you smiling, trials to keep you strong, success to keep confident, faith to keep you going, and belief that each day is a gift. The child grew up hearing this blessing every night. And when the child was older and grandparents were babysitting, the child reminded grandparents, Granny, we need to say the prayer, the blessing. Mary and Joseph must have had times of remembering their journey to Bethlehem, the birth of Jesus, and his dedication at the temple in Jerusalem. Now Mary also has Simeon's warning that while Jesus would cause the falling and rising of many in Israel, a sword would pierce her soul in her future. So here we are, the last day of our 2023 journey. Perhaps we have been a blessing this past year by praying for a friend in need, picking up groceries, delivering a meal, or spending time just listening to someone. What have you received in this past year? As Carl Bard said, although no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending. So let's take that big step into 2024. Where will our journeys take us as we make that new ending? What blessings will we receive? And how will we be a blessing? The Irish traveling blessing says it well. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. So happy waiting, hiking, and successful journeys in 2024. <laughs>
did we get that blessed snow pictures? Those are old ones. They're from about 2015. <laughs> oh, well, they are awesome too. <laughs> so thank you, Liz, very much for your sharing your thoughts and the reflection on uh, journeys and blessings and for seeing the, uh, the parallel in Dr. Zeus's The Places You Go uh, that uh, um, are parallel, parallel with uh, uh, Jesus' life and journey and uh, perhaps in, in some way uh, our lives uh, as, uh, as well. Um, so for the, for the conversation, um, we'll, we'll be breaking into groups, uh, Lisa. Um, so in, in shortly you'll be into a group and we ask you to think about when have I been blessed by someone or when have I offered someone blessing? Uh, but just before you, and as Heather would often say, uh, that if you wish to, if something else comes up in your conversation, that's that's fine too. Um, I just wanted to add by way of introduction to the thoughts about blessings and and the, the traditions that we heard about in the scripture. Um, having just uh, recently seen uh, uh, Fiddler on the, on the Roof, um, traditions and, and blessings are very much a part of that uh, uh, of that story as well and the um, it would be very familiar to you as they prepare for the Sabbath the, the singing of the it's called the priestly blessing that Liz read from uh, from um, the scripture about may the Lord may God bless you and uh, and keep you um, and there was a couple other uh, Sorry, and and uh, what I wanted to add there was uh, I, I understand that on many Jewish families on Friday nights they read that that the parents give that blessing to their to their children. So it's it's very much a tradition of uh, of the Jewish faith, um, and also part of the naming um, the naming days as as well. That type of uh, of blessing, um, and maybe one distinction to make in that story. Um, the second daughter, when she is asked, she and, and uh, Reb go to uh, the student, go to her father uh, about getting married. Um, the, he want, he, they, his concern is that they're asking for permission, but they say, no, you want to, we want you to bless us. So just a little different thought there about the difference between permission and blessing in the context of that uh, of that story. So uh, enough of enough for me. If uh, Lisa could break us into groups, and then we'll rejoin and share. Welcome back. Was there anyone that wanted to share anything from their uh, co their conversations? You know, we we covered a lot of uh, a lot of ground um, for sure. There's always lots of opportunity to uh, offer support and blessing uh, in through our church and our personal lives for sure. So this is the time in the service when we offer our gifts. And I would just ask you to join with me. We discover Jesus, friend and sibling, in all our neighbors near and far away. May we reflect your love and grace, O oh God, and through our gifts of time, money, and blessings, do for others all that we would do for Jesus. Amen. And now the prayers of the people. God of all time, help us enter the new year quietly thoughtful of who we are to ourselves and to others, mindful that our steps make an impact and that our words carry power. May we walk gently. May we speak only after we have listened well. Creator of all life, help us enter the new year reverently, aware that you have endowed every creature and plant every person and habitat with beauty and with purpose. 
May we regard the world with tenderness. May we honor rather than destroy. We pray for healing. for strength, for vision, for transformation, for messengers and messages, for community, for acceptance, for making room at our tables, for truth seeking, for support, for an abundance of generosity, lover of all souls, help us enter the new year joyfully, willing to laugh and dance and dream, remembering our many gifts with thanks and looking forward to how we can use them to be a blessing. We offer these and all our prayers in the name of the one who will walk with us upon the journey of this new year, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray together saying, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. As you have been fed, go out to feed the hungry. As you have been set free, go release the imprisoned. As you have received, give. As you have heard, proclaim. Knowing that the blessing of the Creator, the Christ and Holy Spirit is always with and is more than you can ever imagine. Amen. <laughs>